Hi guys, this is Quote, and today I'm bringing you my 10th episode of the Super Unix project. This time we are going to continue our journey through Act 3 and farm 2 Unix. First, Battle Maid Serena in the Ruined Temple, and second, Ice Hawk Rift Wing, who lives in the sewers under Kuras City. Both areas are level 84, and sewers level 2 is area level 85, so I was pretty hyped to get some big finds during this episode, and perhaps cross out some of the light uniques from my grail, that is currently sitting at 39 items left. And before we get into the drops, just a quick reminder to like the video if you do, and subscribe to my channel. I release new video every week, and there is a lot of content to come. I had a dry spell for unbelievable 85 runs until I dropped the highest rune in this project so far, a Sur rune. What an amazing find, even if it is not very useful, but it is close to burr and just pretty rare overall. And on the next run I find one exceptional unique from a random popable, unique rune scepter, that is. Zakarum's hand. I was quite surprised how many sets or uniques I dropped from popables in this episode. On the run 8, I get a nice small charm from the chest in the sewers level 2. I was hoping to find some nice charms or runes from super chest here, so I was opening every one of them. And this small charm rolled 11 to fire res. Only 3 noteworthy items dropped after about 150 runs and prospects for this episode were very low. Until on the run 44 I get another unique from a popable. This time it is a heavy belt which is gold wrap. A top choice if you are looking to maximize your MF. And here it started to rain with cool items. On the run 57 I get a class specific grailer, ceremonial pike, which is Lycander's flank. I was really excited to cross it out of my list. Now we are down to 38 items. Just 4 runs later and I drop one more unique from the chest. This time it is a round shield and an item I already mentioned in the last episode, Moser's blessed circle. Again few runs later, I notice Grey Vortex Shield dropped of the Ice Hawk minion, which potentially could be a great base for Spirit or Exile rune wards. It trolled with 4 open sockets and 28 resistances. Good, but not great. Run 69 brings me another unique that I haven't seen for a while, Unique Templar Coat. Probably the best armory for your mercenary if you are going to farm Travinkle, Guardian Angel. And I really hope to find Ethereal version one day. On the run 77 I find Unique Sword. That was once a weapon of my barb, back when I was doing untwinked playthrough with him. Blood Letter, that rolled 2 to Whirlwind and 3 to Sword Mastery. Five runs later, I find one of the most useful set items. 40% faster run walk, 50 to life, high amount of fire resistances and 10% damage goes to mana, that will keep your mana globe full. Yes, these are pair of Aldur's advance. Another five runs and I finally drop a noteworthy rune from the super chest, Arm Rune. Closer to the end of the runs, I find another useful pair of boots. Again, thanks to lots of useful stats, faster hit recovery, strength, vitality and high poison resistance. It is Sandstorm Trex. And here we go, run 98. I do not expect much and suddenly Super Chest drops me an Om rune. I only dropped one of them during my 5000 LK runs and here I get it within 100. 
such a crazy luck. Alright guys, that is it for the episode. Battlemates Arena was the hardest target to run so far, and the area made me constantly sweat, as they would often spawn with fanaticism or might aura, cursed, extra strong, extra fast and whatnot. Add on top, yetis that stun you and those stupid spiders that inflict mega poison on you that cannot be out healed. So I totally recommend this experience to you. Next episode will conclude Act 3 and I'm really looking forward to it as Travinko is one of my favorite areas and I really want to master it. Also Mephisto can drop a lot of good stuff so I'm pretty sure next video will be full of nice drops. And on that note, I will thank you for watching and hope to see you again.